Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Today I'm going to make uh, my wife's favorite dish, a uh, salted um, mantis prawn. Yeah? Now, uh, salted, salted egg mantis prawn. Now, any dish with salted egg uh, sauce is actually very simple. Only thing is a little bit more work depending on the ingredient that you use. Um, let me show you very quickly. This is the mantis prawn I brought from DTS Home Mart. I will, very fresh, it's actually frozen. I just defrost it like 500, uh, 500 gram. And uh, very easy, it's already, uh, all the shelf has already been uh, removed. We just uh, defrost it, uh, wash it, then it can be used straight away. Okay, this is 500 gram. Good for easily four or five adults, like easily. Okay, um, then we, of course, we need the salted egg. This is about four pieces of salted egg yolk, yeah? Uh, mince very important because you want to mince it so that later it's easier to cook so for those who have never uh, done any salted egg dish before salted egg usually when you bought it it is actually wrapped uh, inside a red ash uh, sorry black ashes you need to wash away the black ashes then you cook it in the uh, hot water like how you will cook the uh, hard boiled egg yeah after that take it out take out the egg yolk and mince it. This is four pieces. And then, this will normally comes with it, uh, with uh, salted egg sauce, some, uh, this is probably agar agar, la, about 10 plus curry leaves, uh, minced garlic, uh, chili padi, but I chili, also minced. Okay, so let's uh, deal with uh, the prawn first. Okay, we're going to quickly marinate the prawn. Um, some will put a bit of uh, egg up to you. I'm not putting. Then you prepare some cornstarch or this is... Uh, I'm using cornstarch. You either use cornstarch or potato starch. So you take out your mantis prawn. Roll it over. Coat it nicely, yeah? With the cornstarch or potato starch. And set it aside. You do for everything okay this part will take a bit of time you can use the exactly the same method to cook prawn yeah then you will be very fast okay so next thing is to uh, heat up some oil then we want to use a uh, medium high heat something around i would say around 140 degree to deep fry your uh, prawn until it is crispy so put your chopstick inside you should be able to see some bubbles right not too hot, yeah? The moment you see some smoke, that is too hot. That is at least 180 degrees and above. That is too hot. So you use, just keep your temperature about medium or medium high. Then we can uh, pull in the prawn. One by one, so that it doesn't, uh, it won't stick together, yeah? And it won't take very long to uh, deep fry the mantis prawn. Because it's very thin, yeah? Very thin. It will actually take a little while to put in all the mantis from inside. We'll come back shortly. Okay, I will do it in batches. <clears throat> you want to raise the heat, yeah? Use medium high to deep fry them. Now you can see the mantis bone clearer. Can you see? Yeah? And uh, actually, a lot of it has uh, tamale. See? The yellowish tamale. Really nice. So deep fry this until it is crispy. It'll probably take about five, I would say about four or five minutes, I would say. Somewhere around there. Keep it on high heat until it is cooked. Okay. When I'm uh, pushing the prawns, I can feel it is actually hardened and crispy outside. So this is actually done. I think about three, four minutes only. And the mantis prawn is actually larger than I thought. Okay, so you get a sieve. And prepare some oil absorbing paper at the side. Let's put this over at the oil absorbing paper, yeah? Okay. Okay, so our mantis prawn is uh, after deep frying. This is how it is. Very, very crispy. And the next part is very fast. Okay, so we'll put in at least about 5-6 tablespoons of oil. You need a lot of oil for making a salted egg. Okay. 
put in the garlic, chili paddy, and also the curry leaves. Immediately you can smell the fragrance. Next thing, we can put in, uh, tune down to a medium, uh, medium heat, yeah? Put in the salted egg. You will actually need the oil to, uh, I don't know what's the word, <laughs> to dilute all the salted egg, yeah? You will know what I mean. To make all the bubbles, you will see a lot of bubbles. Now, I'm not going to edit this part so that you can see very clearly exactly what's going to happen and on your salted egg sauce. You're going to see more and more bubbles. Okay, now I'm tuning to a medium high heat. Now you see it's still um, very thick, you right? Not much bubble yet, but you're going to see bubble very soon. You're going to see a lot of bubbles very soon. You can fast forward if you like, because I'm not going to edit this part so that everyone will be able to see the uh, changes, the transition. Okay, we start to see a lot of bubbles coming in. This is probably about 20-30% of the bubbles. And then very fast, this is probably like 40-50% of the bubbles ready. Keep on stirring. Keep on stirring. Yeah, I can really smell the beautiful salted egg flavor. There are two types of salted egg, so, uh, duck egg and also chicken egg. I usually prefer to use the uh, duck egg because bigger egg yolk. See the kind of... Did you see the kind of salted egg bubbles we have right now? Salted egg sauce? Uh, this is like 70-80% already, almost there. Okay, until you don't really see any salted egg anymore, only the bubbles. Look at the beautiful salted egg bubbles. Beautiful salted egg bubbles. Alright, almost 90% I would say. I don't see any salted egg anymore inside. Next thing, we can put in our deep fried mantis prawn. And give it the. I'm going to off the fire, give it a few stir and serve. Then your mantis prawn can still remain crispy. Wow! Of course, it would be good if you know how to flip the wok. Just flip it twice enough. You just want your mantis prawn to be nicely covered with the salted egg sauce. And we can give it a few, a uh, last final touch of white pepper few dashes okay done serve you want your you want to keep the crispiness all right there you go our salted egg mantis prawn very very crispy very very fragrant okay i hope you like my video today if you like my video do share my video on your facebook to your friends come to cooking about facebook fan page to click like and follow button and follow up on the instagram thank you very much bye bye